Hi everyone and welcome back to my Enjoy Mechatronics YouTube channel. So in today's video we're gonna use the L298N motor driver and the joystick so that we can control a DC motor. So we'll be able to control the speed and the direction of this DC motor using the L298N motor driver which we have talked about in our previous video. If I move the joystick to the left the motor is rotating to the left side and if I move it to the right we can rotate it to the opposite direction also I can change the speed using this joystick so first of all let's use the L298 and motor driver so that we can control the DC motor basically we are going to follow this image first we're gonna connect the DC motor to these outputs then we're gonna control the motor using these three pins we're gonna use this pin to control the speed of the motor and these two to control the direction so if you didn't watch my video about the L298 and motor driver make sure to check it out Let's start by connecting the DC motor. So let's take this one and I'm gonna connect these wires. Now we're gonna use these three pins. One of them is under this jumper, so make sure to remove the jumper so that we can change the speed of the motor. Then we're going to connect these three pins. And to do that, we need to take these three male to female jumper wires. And let's connect the three pins on the right side. The green wire goes to the pin number three. Make sure to use the pin that has the squiggly sign, like the pin number three, to control the speed using the analog write command. Then we're going to use the other two pins to control the direction. Also, we need to power this driver using an external power supply. So I have this power adapter. And let's connect the VCC. So this is the positive terminal. I'm going to connect it to the VCC of the L298N motor driver. Of course, you could use a battery if you want. Then we're going to connect the GND. So you notice that the motor is working, and that's because I haven't changed the code from the previous video. I'm going to upload this empty sketch to fix the problem. Now we can connect the GND. Also, we need to take another jumper wire to connect the GND of the L298N motor driver and the GND of the Arduino. If you don't do that, our driver will not work properly. Then let's take this side and connect it to the GND of the Arduino, like this pin. Now we can move to the Arduino IDE so that we can test this motor. So first of all, we're gonna add the variables that we're gonna need, like the pin numbers. The type is int. And let's call the first one, which we have connected to the pin number 3. I'm gonna call it speed pin to control the speed of the motor. Then let's assign the value 3. Then we have the other two pins to control the direction. I'm gonna call the first one DAR for direction. Pin 1, which is number 4. Then we have the direction pin number 2. Of course you could name your variables as you want. Then we have to use these pins as outputs. So under the setup function, we're gonna use the pin mode command. We give it our pins, like the speed pin. Then the output keyword, so that we can use the analog write command and change the speed of the motor. The same thing for the other two pins.
Now we're gonna test our DC motor by setting speed using the analog write command. We give it the speed pin, then a value between 0 and 255. I'm gonna set it to a lower speed, like uh, 60. Then we can set a direction using digital write. We give it the direction pin number one. Then we're gonna set it to high. And let's set the other one to low using digital write. Direction pin two. Then low. Now if we upload the code, you will see that the motor is rotating in a certain direction. So let's hit upload. And there you go, we have the DC motor and it's working. It is rotating to the left. So let's try to stop it by changing the two pins to low. And let's hit upload. Now we're going to use the joystick so that we can control the DC motor. And we've talked about it in our previous videos, make sure to check it out. Basically we're going to use the first three pins, the GND, we're going to connect it to the GND of the Arduino. The 5 volt goes to the 5 volt of the Arduino. Then we have the VRX and the VRY. We will only use the VRX. So we're going to control the DC motor by changing the X value. Let's take these three male to female jumper wires and we're going to use the first three pins. So the brown wire is the GND. Then we have the VCC and we're going to connect the orange wire to the analog pin A0 to read the analog voltage. And let's go back to the Arduino IDE. First, I'm going to get rid of these three lines. And let's go under the loop function. And each time we can use the analog read command to read the value of the X variation using analog read. We give it the pin A0. Then it returns a value between 0 and 1023. But to make the code much cleaner, we can use variables. We can go up here and let's add two more variables. The first one is going to be the pin A0. I'm going to call it read pin. And let's assign the value A0. Then let's add another one to store the value that we're going to read. I'm going to call it read value. And under the setup function, we have to set the pin mode. We give it the read pin, then the input keyword. Now we can use the variable here, read pin, and let's assign it to the read value variable. After that, we can use the if statement to check if we have moved the joystick to the left or the right using if. For example, if the read value is between 0 and 400, that means we have moved the joystick to the left. We're going to rotate the DC motor to the left side and we don't need to check if it's greater than 0. So I'm going to use if read value is less than 400. In such case, we're going to set the direction pin 1 to high and the direction pin 2 to low using digital write direction pin 1 then high then let's use digital write direction pin 2 and we're gonna give it low and that will rotate the motor to the left side 
Now we can move to the other range. So if the read value is between 400 and 600, for example, in this case, we're going to stop the DC motor because the joystick is about in the middle using else if read value. And here we can use two conditions. If the read value is greater or equal to 400 and less than 600, or we could only use less than 600. And that's because the if statement is checking for this condition first. And if it's wrong, that means that the read value is greater than 400. In such case, our program will go to the other condition, which is read value is less than 600. That's why we don't need to add the read value greater than 400. Anyway, in this case, we're going to stop the motor by setting the two pins to low. So I will just copy these two lines of code and change this one to low. And finally, if the value is greater than 600, in such case, we can rotate the motor to the opposite direction by changing the first pin to low and the other one to high. But if you notice, we are missing something, and that's the speed of the DC motor. We can set a speed up here using the analog write command. We give it the speed pin, and let's pass in 60. Later on, we're going to use the value of the joystick to control the speed. For now, let's hit upload. And if I move the joystick, to the right side, you see it is rotating, then it is stopped, also we can move it to the opposite direction, and the speed is the same. Now we're going to use the read value to control the speed. We can go under this if statement, and basically we're going to map the read value to be between 0 and 255. So recently we've talked about the map function. We give it the read value, which is between 0 and 400. And we need to convert it to another value between 255 and 60, which is the minimum value to rotate the DC motor, as we have done here. Now we're going to take what this function returns and pass it in to the analog write command so that we can control the speed. Then let's cut this line of code and put it under this block. And the same thing, if the value is between 600 and 1023, we're going to control the speed of the motor. But this time, we need to change the first range, which is 600 and 1023. Also, we need to reverse these two parameters. Here we have 60, then 255. So whenever we move the joystick all the way to the right, it's going to be the full speed. Now we can upload the code. And let's take this joystick. Now we can control the speed and the direction. As you can see, we can make it full speed. When I move the joystick all the way to the left, the same thing applies to the right side. And this is the minimum speed. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next one.